Hi, this is Ash Red with Leaf and Grain, and I am here with Greg Free with Fuerte y Libre Cigars. So um, this is your first year at PCA. So tell us what you think about it, how it's going so far. Well, I mean, I guess this is the, the big step for us, right? Yes. You know, we've been this company that's been around for four years now mm -hmm. that people have never heard of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so it's all about brand recognition. And even if you don't pick up one shop at PCA, which we've already picked up a shop, yes. so, but even that's if exciting. you don't, it's about brand recognition. Mm -hmm. It's about retailers walking by the booth, seeing the brand name, seeing the bull, and then when a customer asks for us, at least they know who we are. Or if I call the shop, at least they remember having seen Yes. Them. And you're in like a great location because you're on the corner right by where the people are getting their food and <laughs> beverages. So you're, it's a great facing. So that's exciting. So um, tell us what kind of deals you have for PCA um, going on right now. So the great thing is that in the BCA pavilion, mm -hmm. which is where we are with all yes. of these other boutique brands, we all agreed that we would have the same specials. Uh -huh. So that if a retailer comes in, we're not competing with each other and we're offering uh -huh. buy seven, get one boxes, buy 10, get two and buy 15, get three. Very. Um, the other thing that we offer, and this is just our normal deal, mm -hmm. is our shipping is just a flat rate of 20 bucks, uh -huh. no matter how much you order. Wow, that's a great deal. Yeah, so we give yeah. them a nice low price point to come mm -hmm. in. Uh, as a boutique brand, we understand that, that shops are, they're taking a risk, especially mm -hmm. if they don't know their customers or if they've never heard of our brand. Right. So if you know your customers love boutiques, mm -hmm. you're going to hit this section. Hopefully mm -hmm. you'll buy from more than one of us, yes. pick up some new brands, add some excitement to the humidor, and hopefully we're one of those brands that just really takes okay. off there. And would you like to showcase your beautiful sure. brands? Sure. Yes. So I can walk through them. There, okay. there are six lines now, and those uh -huh. six lines... Um, all have different names that relate to famous uh, PBR bulls. All right, very so I'll start with Bodacious down here. Okay. So Bodacious has Dominican filler and binder and also mm -hmm. an Ecuadorian Maduro or a Habana wrapper. Mm -hmm. It was our first line, so we had three Vitolas, two wrappers, so we could have six faces. Oh, yes. Give us a little bit of shelf uh -huh. preference. The next one in the white box over here is the Bushwhacker. Yes. So the Bushwhacker has a core tobacco that's aged 50% longer than the rest of our cigars. So that cigar has got a smoother, richer profile. Mm -hmm. It also comes in two different wrapper choices and three Vitolas. Again, okay. looking for shelf preference since right. the very beginning. So it comes in a Mexican San Andreas on the dark ah, side. Yes. And then also on the light side, that same Ecuadorian Habano that's on the on the uh, bodacious. Uh -huh. The third line was the Midnight Vendor. We released mm -hmm. this just in a Toro. It's our yes. closest to full-bodied cigar. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got double Dominican Lajero, uh -huh. uh, Dominican filler, Dominican binder, mm -hmm. and a Mexican San Andreas wrapper. The unique yes. thing about that cigar is that it does use a Dominican binder mm -hmm. under San Andreas, and it's yes. very hard to get Dominican binders to burn hot enough to get a nice yes. even burn. Uh -huh. It burns great. It does. It took it a does. lot of trial and error to get yeah. there, <laughs> but we did. The next line is Sun Country. Sun Country is our number one selling blend. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, a very creative blend. It's very complex. It's mm -hmm. got a full body core with a mild wrapper. Right. In the core, it's got double Dominican Lajero, but it also uh -huh. has a Mexican San Andreas wrapper leaf that's yes. blended into the filler. Yes. So it's got all that meat and flavor mm -hmm. from a rich San Andreas wrapper, but then the mild Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper makes it smoke like a medium or a medium plus, depending on what the Vitola is. Uh, the next line is our second win. So the second uh -huh. win was our second anniversary cigar that uh -huh. came out two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's got double Lajero in the core as well. The, the Lajero that we're using all comes from the same 40 hectare plantation okay, or great. farm. Uh, and it's not as strong as like a Nicaraguan Lajero. So yeah. when I say double Lajero on the cigar, it's not a full bodied stick. It's really a medium. Mm -hmm. Just using that Lajero to lift it up. Lift it up. Inherently mild Dominican tobacco. And, and to enhance that flavor. Exactly. Yes. Lots of flavor. And that's got an Ecuadorian Habana wrapper and it's in a box press. Yes. And then the final one was just released in September, yes. the Avalanche. Yes. It's our closest to mild cigar. Mm -hmm. I tried for 24, 24 months to create a true mild mm -hmm. and I couldn't. Yeah. So. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, my question today is if you are stranded on an island and you have to take anybody to smoke a cigar, what would you smoke and what would you pair it with? What cigar would you smoke, who would you take, and what would you pair it with? So uh, I think Ernest Hemingway is probably a go-to uh -huh. for a lot of people, but mm -hmm. that would be really cool. Uh -huh. I and mean, I'd like to go there on a boat with him uh -huh. where he's the captain. Oh, yes. You know, and take me to the island. Uh -huh. um, and I would probably take a sun country because you could uh -huh. pair it with anything. Anything, yes. And it actually goes really well with tropical drinks that have coconut oh. in it. Wow. So thinking okay. about an island, 
And I'm yeah. not a real sweet tropical uh -huh. drink guy. Yeah. But I would probably drink a pina colada. Oh my goodness. With that. So now, and coconut is really hard to pair with because I've done that before and it's it did not go well. So now that I know that, I look, I'm going to have to take the challenge on it. Pina colada yeah. with a dark rum floater. Yeah. On the top. Very good. Well, thank you so much for talking with us and we enjoyed it and we wish you all the success. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Bye.